Hi everyone, um, Scrappy Kathy here after a, um, a long um, absence and uh, I'm sure many of you know and, and many of you may not um, that my husband passed away on February 8th and um, for a whole host of reasons, I need to get back to doing normal things. So I'm gonna, right now I'm considering this a layout share, although I'm gonna finish a couple of layouts that you've seen me um, talk about before. Um, I've finally printed the photos and I'll kind of explain what's going on there. And then I'll look at the last layouts that I did before I stopped doing layouts. Um, I appreciate all of your notes of support and your prayers. And I'm sure the, uh, the moments of weepy sadness like this one uh, will become outnumbered by um, times when I just fill with gratitude for the years we had together and the adventures and the life and the love. So um, I'm going to try to get more to that side of things uh, before the end of this video. Anyway, um, this page, as I say in my journaling, uh, was meant to be the start of a joint scrappy venture where John and I would go through his mom's photo albums and he'd talk about the memories and the photos and people and places and events. And I'd uh, scan photos and his mom's journaling uh, where there was some and um, design a page. And we talked about it over the years, made a few false starts. Um, stuff got in the way and it was always easier to um well whatever you you know i'm sure what i'm talking about but i would encourage you that if you have such a heritage project um like that in mind um move forward with it while you can and treasure every bit of it I think he'd have loved seeing a scrapbook being built about his early life. Um, those were the memories that were still there. So, um, anyway, I'm going to use this as the start of that same album, but I'm going to do it by myself now, and I'll have to make up <laughs> stories about the photos I see if his mom doesn't do any journaling, but if I see a cute picture or something that um, kind of fills in a little bit of a gap in what I know about his uh, early life, I'll, uh, I'll grab it. Uh, I've got lots of... Um, paper clippings about his um, brilliant success in, uh, in, in bowling in the Alliance, Ohio area. He was, he was it. He was good enough to go pro and, and considered it for a bit. Uh, but uh, IT, uh, computer programming, was, was the thing that made him, made him happy. So anyway, I'm going to stick this journaling. This is not going to be much of a of a process video. You've already seen, I think, the process in making the base page. And this is where I intended the photo to go. And I was actually gonna look for an earlier photo. This is John at about two. But I love this photo. I've used it before. I actually created a collage where there was a side-by-side -side of him and me at about this same age, between 18 months and two years old. And uh, <laughs> those big, gorgeous blue eyes that um, he had till the end. 
So this page is finished and it's gonna go into the John Years album, which is gonna be the story of John before he um, took James and me into his life. So that's page one of that. This is a, a page I did around Christmas time. Let's see, I did it on, well, actually I did it on January 12th um, using Christmas supplies. Um, and I left three blanks for when, uh, for our Christmas celebration when he did get home. And at that time, on January 12th, he, he he had been four days into a nursing rehab center where we were told and had hopes that he'd get really um, frequent and varied therapies to help him recondition after three weeks bedridden in the hospital and, um, and that he'd be more likely to be independent, which meant to me, walking and able to get out of bed or even transfer to a chair when he got home. And that's not how it turned out, but um, schedules being what they were, we couldn't get everybody together for our Christmas celebration. Uh, Katie and Barrett are working and James is working and Ava's only with us every other week. So uh, January 7th, or February 7th was the day that we had our um, Christmas celebration. And I've heavily edited these photos because they're very difficult uh, to look at. Um, he, was, he was beginning to shut down at that point, um, had been. This is the view from, I moved, our bed over to the wall so we'd have room for his hospital bed. And here he's lying in his hospital bed and that was his view out to the hallway and up the stairs and there's our washer dryer and then the, the barn door going into the bathroom. And I took that because that was my view of him uh, hard to talk about okay this was uh how he was greeted on that day his his merry fifth christmas greeting from reese reese had been looking for him and and missing him for the six weeks that he was gone. And so she was thrilled and came, you know, she would sneak downstairs every chance she got. Um, this is um, the, the family, James, Ava, Barrett, and Katie, and Reese on, uh, sitting on the, our, our bed beside John as, as we kind of gave him, that's his, um, his red plaid pajamas that uh, he, he had actually asked for those um, back in November. Um, he felt uh, that, <laughs> that it was time to get some, actually I'm gonna switch these photos. I don't like this. Um, kind of overlaps his face and I think I'd rather have a little bit of it there. It's a pretty page, not a happy story. He was kind of uh, awake and, and, and responsive. It doesn't look like it in the photos, but he did respond um, to Reese, you know, licking him. <laughs> so uh, another page that I'm gonna put away in an album and, and kinda, uh, kinda be done with. Um, 
This was one that I did for a uh, load day one prompt. Uh, I forget what the prompt was. Um, this was uh, taken on, the photo was taken on February 1st. Um, we were tearing out this patio and, and I had a potted um, a container garden all up in here. So that was all moved down. And, and then we had these, these steps going up and, and we were converting it to a ramp so that he could get to a doctor's appointment on the 4th. And um, so this was the, the very beginning of that where they were tearing out the flagstones. And all those flagstones are downstairs under our deck where we're going to kind of build a, a patio um, someday. And then this was another page I did about that same ramp. It was, this was in the process of adding the concrete. There's the concrete truck and, and they're adding the concrete and then screeding it. And then this was the finished ramp with the railing up. And it, it really turned out nice. And on the 4th, when he had his doctor's appointments, um, I, I didn't think he was up to the um, stress of transport to one doctor and then another ride to another doctor. So I converted one of those to a telemedicine appointment and I canceled the other one until um, he was stronger and, and better able to, to make the, the trip. So I, it turns out that he didn't, um, he didn't ever see this. I, I showed him pictures. I showed him these pictures, I think. This was a picture of him on February 1st, uh, the day that the ramp had started. And I showed him that this photo and this page, actually. But this was, he, he was actually kind of mustering a smile and he'd um, put on some weight from how horribly, horribly skinny he was when he got back from the nursing home. But he was not, um, he was not, not, feeling great and you can kind of see how big his glasses are with respect to his head. Now, I, I've put this, I've had this page out there um, and, and still this photo haunts me, but I love it. I keep it on my computer desktop so that I see it along with uh, one of his younger photos from one of our trips. But I love this page for a number of reasons, but it's it's hard. This is the bird house page that I also had out there. It was a, a rather simplistic version of this, um, which was the I did for Shannon Allor's mini paper pad class. I'll have to go back and finish a few of those lessons, I guess. But we made those birdhouses for the outside of his window at the nursing home. And then almost as soon as we had them ready to take there, we we had a discharge date. So we never, we never did take them there. And I think... We showed him the photo of them, but we never even brought them downstairs when he got home. This was one about um, it's a lift of an Elizabeth Worthington design, and I did it for um, a Cybercrop cyber Challenge number four something about um, our home space or a change we made. So this is kind of what it looked like, and this is what it looks like today. And John built all those cabinets, put all those cabinets together, uh, all the open shelving there. We had salvaged the tile, both the floor tile from a patio project and the wall tile from a 
wall at our previous house. This is um, Sweet Snow Bunny. Um, another lift of, let's see, what is it for? It's for loads, Scrap Squad Sunday, Rediscover Your Stash, and Secret Not Secret Plus uh, Paper Pad Class. <laughs> so I combined lots of, of um, challenges on, on this one, and those are Bramble Fox Perspectives. And then probably one of my favorite pages um, ever. It's called Joined at the Hip, and it's it was for Load Day 2, um, Ship Lap, where I was guest designer. And um, that's one of my favorite photos of us together. We were uh, kind of uh, closing in. It was We were day 16 into our 31-day a uh, road trip in August of 26, August of 2016. We weren't on day 16. I forget what day that was. That was later in the month because we had gone from Georgia all the way to San Francisco and then, you know, many stops along the way. And then coming back, we stopped in Chicago before going up to Detroit and um, Toronto and then coming home. And we... Uh, this was a, a photo that one of the, the people who worked at uh, White Sox uh, Stadium um, took of us. And it was Elvis night. We have some great Elvis uh, photos from that thing. And I, I'm going to kind of do a deeper dive into that road trip because he absolutely loved that road trip. And he kept saying to me, many times during it and especially after i can't believe we did this <laughs> i just can't believe we made it and we had such good weather and we had uh you know we got to see and do so much you know this when you take off on a 31 day trip in a i don't know what it was 10 year old car um you have no real idea <laughs> what's going to come your way. And it was it was as close to perfect as possible. So that's my layout share. As you can tell, I haven't done any layouts um, uh, for a while uh, since that mid-January one, I think. So I'm planning to do one um, today or tomorrow. I've had it in my head since November. And I think it's even more appropriate um, now, and I'll probably make a change or two to it um, now. But uh, again, I, I thank you all for your comfort, your words of comfort and support. And I look forward to seeing you back out here on YouTube and in Facebook and Instagram. And... I'm planning to um, do at least one more load layout before the end of the month. And I'm planning to do the Secret Not Secret Kit Club party this weekend. I won't be hosting my uh, Getting Messy segment, so it'll be my first time in a while as just a party goer. And uh, I might try to take a uh, part in Zoom crops. I'm looking forward to the next Mind the Scrap Zoom crop, um, whenever that may come. And I'm just, and Calvin Ball is coming up next month, and you know that's my jam. Um, I expect I'll approach it a little bit differently this year, um, but I'll, I'll try to do at least uh, one or two of those jam packed, <laughs> more is more. Uh, Adam Westwood kind of um, pages, and uh, Adam's joining us this year, so I'm sure I'll have some competition in the uh, more is more department. So I, um, I, I look forward to kind of easing my way back into uh, scrappiness, and I'm sure I'll have some more Weepy John pages. There's just not, um, not any way that that wouldn't happen. But um, I'm going to throw in some 
Happy Funny John pages, too. I, I found a photo that I hadn't ever seen before. It's one that James took uh, when we came back from our um, South Pacific cruise. I'd brought some stuffed a stuffed koala bear and a stuffed uh, kangaroo from Australia for Ava. And she's sitting on my lap and hug, snuggling her stuffed animals and I'm snuggling her. And John has um, two fingers stuck up behind my head and he's making a funny face. So that was more life with John. There were 40 years of those kinds of moments and uh, just this horrible uh, bit at the end that I can't quite turn loose of yet, but I'll be back. Thank you for watching, and again, thanks for all your support. Bye.